And now for the Monero development segment. Okay, okay, okay. Let me add D Goon here. People in the in the spaces, were you able to hear that our little cheesy intro? I'm just curious if it's working on our end. Just give a thumbs up in the spaces. I don't know. People are slow. And by the way, if you're in the spaces, all right, we got a thumbs up. Um, it's it's more fun to watch it on YouTube, but we like to broadcast it on spaces and then we'll, we'll jump in the spaces at the end to talk with everybody. I see Mano Crypto is in there. So I, I'm very tempted to jump in the spaces. I always love talking to Mano. Um, Digun, what's going on, man? We I think we've I don't know what you're I don't know what you're looking to cover today. Are you are you oh. covering the, the Rucknium stuff? What what's the uh uh, I was just gonna do just a quick overview of Seraphis and the address updates. Oh, okay. That. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for something to be as relevant, but um, unfortunately, I can't be exciting as uh, a possible bank run. Uh-huh. And <laughs> well, no, there was there was some big uh, dev news, right? Monero transaction confirmations are now sixty seconds faster. I don't know if you, oh. did you, did you see that one. Oh yeah, that's really cool. That that yeah. That actually transpired like, um, like basically, I think like the fix went in like a month ago. I think that this yeah. is like the culmination of it. Yes, yes, it was really so cool. It's kind of old news, I guess, but it's getting attention now. Um, but yeah, jump into uh, these broader topics, man. Oh, yeah, I just want to give some good news. So, I mean, I thought on Thursday, so I wish I could. We could talk about that a little bit if you want to. I'm sorry, talk about what the um. The, the 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 confirmation time stuff i saw that last night yeah i, I saw that last night we can no, talk no, no, no. After. Do, do, do your do your report because then um okay <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll mention it in the news and whatnot but yeah if there's anything you have to say on it by all means but uh go ahead do it oh, yeah, do yeah. What you prep for oh yeah um sunita also said i want to check your phone also and how do i have my slides here how do i thank you present? <laughs> Okay. Oh, your slide. Oh, Doug, you have up. to add it yep, on. There you go. Yeah, you gotta. No, you put body oh. up. Shit. Sorry about that. You gotta add his. Boom. Ah, there you go. This, this is why <laughs> we need Sunita, you know? I, I can't run the studio. Now you got this. You're figuring, <laughs> you're figuring it out. <laughs> Nita, how's it going over there? Are you in the venue now? Yeah, I'm in the venue now. Oh. Okay. I'm like kind of walking around. They're setting up the marketplace. Yeah, they're setting up the marketplace. It's really cool. How do I'm I just waiting the, for uh, the main screen? I don't know how to make you log. Okay. Oh, it's uh, the layout. You can use the layout. Okay, use the layout. Well, we'll, the layout we'll let one. we'll let the uh, Digoon take it yeah, away, yeah, let, and we'll come back to you back. for yeah. the uh, the live report down at down at the venue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Enjoy. Enjoy. So you're just chilling over there. Go ahead, oh, yeah. man. Take it away. So um, I want to get some good news. So I want to talk about some of the Monero wallet like upgrades we've been experiencing or we will experience with the Seraphis updates. So I want to get some good news given all the uh, markets being down so to show you that Monero is still working. If the markets are down, markets are up, so the work still continues. Um, and pretty much um, everyone's heard of Seraphis. I hope you have, unless you've been living under a rock. It's a coming Monero update. It's, um, Plan to be integrated soon. I don't want to put a date on that, but I think my like I've been hearing one to two years. It could be longer than that, so don't hold me to that. But basically, um, Seraphis, a quick overview of what Seraphis is, is a complete restructuring of the way um we model Monero. So basically, it's it's a it's an innovative way of looking at privacy coins in general and defining the the protocols around them. So with um Seraphis, we're gonna have some of the same building blocks are just going to be structured in a way to make them more interchangeable. And hopefully this will set the way for us to adopt zero knowledge proofs in the, in the future um, for hiding the sender information and things like that. So it's like a pretty much not a deep rewrite, but a, I would say like a deep restructuring of how we model Monero. And it's, it's, there's a lot of stuff going on with it. So today I'm just going to focus in on Jamatis, which is basically... Um, going to have some really innovative things going on with view wallets update. So it's going to be really cool and pioneering way in that. And right now, if you use Monero, the you only really have one kind of view wallet. And if you use Monero with a hardware wallet, you might notice, but in order to actually view an accurate balance on your account, 
you have to plug your hardware wallet in and then upload some information to the wallet, which is not a big security risk, but it can lead to, it's very clunky and can lead to some security risk. So in order to see your actual balance, you need to have your hardware wallet. Like if you have a Bitcoin view wallet, right? You don't need to have any of that. You don't, you don't need to plug your wallet in. You can just pull up your phone and check your view wallet. Let's say you were out and about and you wanted to check your cold wallet at home. You can't really do that. You actually have to have your horror wallet with you to get an accurate balance, which is not ideal, right? A view wallet is supposed to be offline or view wallet is supposed to be a hot wallet that is super secure and a cold wallet is supposed to be separate. Mm -hmm. So the new update to Jamatiz will, and this is a, a lot, is actually Monero's the only wallet to do something like this. Um, Jamatiz introduces different tiers of view wallets. And once again, I want to iterate, this is, I've, I haven't seen it Im implemented on any other cryptocurrency, so it's actually a um, cutting, edge, cutting edge way of looking at things. I just want so to say, gonna, we're going hmm? to have Co down at Monerotopia, obviously talking about oh. Surface. Yeah. And then we have uh, <laughs> Justin Berman, uh, we'll be talking about Jamatis, which is- Oh yeah, you- cool. Yeah. So y'all should go to the show- Definitely go to the convention. The, those people are heavy hitters in this space. They're the ones that actually, I believe, writing the papers I'm speaking on. So yes, yes, com complete experts, com awesome people. But yes. just to give you a quick overview, to sort of hopefully get you hyped for that. No, the way this will, will, yeah, the way this will work is is that you have different tiers of view wallets. You can imagine as we get closer to the bottom tier, you have a master wallet, and that sort of works how you. Think of a wallet today. It can spin. It can view all transactions, et cetera, et cetera. But then at the very top tier here, you have you have you have a wallet that can generate public addresses for you, but can't actually see any outputs or any information about that address, which is really cool. That's not I believe that's currently possible today because most view wallets can also see the outputs going in. And once again, I want to iterate. This is something new that I haven't seen implemented in other cryptocurrencies, to my knowledge. So it's really cutting edge and really cool stuff. And as you work your way down the tiers here, you get more um, power and less privacy because you, you can have a wallet uh, on the find and receive tier where they can recognize all your public addresses and see your outputs that, that sent to you. So you can see your balance, but you can't see things that were sent from you. And as you get progressively down more, you get more powerful. And it's really cool. You, you can build out some really cool things. You can imagine that in order to accept Monero, you can simply simply give your... Um, the highest tier here, you give that to someone instead of giving your address today. And that offers you a lot more privacy. That way you can make a payment. Um, you, you can accept Monero payments and not have the person who's helping you accept Monero payments be able to see anything about your outputs, which is, which is really cool today. Yeah, and, it makes, makes for really good like uh, like vendor use case, right? So you Oh, can yeah, it's... It's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, today we're pretty blessed. Things like Cake Wallet allow you to get a, a full node running. So we're not as dependent on light wallets as we used to be. But this is going to completely, the, the stuff we're going to see out of this is going to be really cool. And I honestly don't, ha haven't quite wrapped my head around what they will be viewing mm -hmm. or what will happen. And then <laughs> there appears to be hair on the screen. Am, am I the only one seeing that? <laughs> Where did that get me? <laughs> Oops, I was playing around with something. <laughs> I pressed, oh no, it's done. I need to remove it. <laughs> Shit. This is hilarious. Oh no. So we got some live antics? <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, there you go. Now I removed it. Well, now Doug's gone. What you do with Doug? <laughs> yes. Where'd you get go. that? Where'd you get that? I think uh, we clicked on. I don't know who clicked on it. it wasn't me. Brandy like clicked an old. Uh, that was that was the hair from. That, yeah, yeah, that was the hair for Halloween like two years ago. No, what are they called though? What is that? Are those two dudes. Called? Island boys. The island boys. Yeah, island boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that was Can we get the island boys at Monero Topia? I think at this point they've like. <laughs> You know they've plummeted to zero, like a, like a like a shit coin. I I don't think they're really around much. We might be able to pull them from an Aerotopia no special guest. Uh, Island boys over there. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry about that. Go ahead. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, um, <laughs> what this means, as Doug hinted at earlier, you'll get some really good 
adoption from the easy, it'll make it easier, more secure to accept Monero, which is always good for the market. You'll get faster sync times. You'll get better privacy. You'll also get some really cool multi-signature ability. And I just want to add that these there are seven design variations. So the development is still ongoing. So if you're really interested in this stuff, there's literally a meeting, I believe, like once a week talking about this stuff. And you can find it in the, if you Google Monero Seraphis Wallet Workgroup Meeting, there's literally like a, a meeting a week where they discuss these things. It's really cool to watch people like Doug mentioned, like Justin, the experts talk about these things in the open chat room. It's really, really innovating. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the updates on the on the dev section very cool man very cool um <laughs> yeah i mean i don't think we really realize what we're, what we're in for right that the changing of addresses is going to be quite impactful right we're yo deprecate yeah. the old addresses so if you have if you have an old monero qr code like for example gratuitous right we put, mm -hmm. we put the qr codes on our uh, on our bags of coffee that we sell so people can tip uh, those are going to be deprecated, right? We're going to have to we're going to have to create new addresses. Uh, so old. I mean, it's good. It kind of clears mm -hmm. out old existing, right? You really don't want old crypto addresses out there. I, granted, Monero uses stealth addresses, uh, but good practice really isn't to have um, old addresses sitting out there on the internet that people are engaging with. Um, but there is going to be that transition period when old addresses are deprecated and people have to move to new ones. Obviously anybody that's, you know, running a wallet, like a cake wallet mm -hmm. or the GUI, it's going to happen seamlessly. You know, your, your private key isn't, isn't going to change. Right. I know that that's yeah. interesting, but the, the way addresses are created. And so, uh, you know, addresses that were created previous to this change will, will be deprecated, receive addresses. Yeah. And I, I think that some people see that disruption is bad. But I think if you look at the history, like Zcash has a really bad problem where they can't get rid of clear net addresses and it pretty much ruins the privacy of their network. So it's very, the fact that Monero can do this is is amazing. We can just be like, you know what? This isn't good for privacy. We need, we need to use the new address types. And these new address types are going to be so powerful. So it's definitely worth the, the trouble of upgrading. Yeah, and it's going to lead to some really interesting use cases that I don't think people even realize yet. Like we're saying, like with point, point of sale systems, right? So <laughs> where, you know, the, the private keys don't need to be, uh, nobody would have access to your private keys and mm -hmm. point of sale system can work in a very seamless way where those using it uh, can view and see things, but without having access to the funds. Granted, there's ways to do that now, but mm -hmm. it's just not in a very user-friendly way where people can easily program systems like that. But once Seraphis is implemented, my understanding, uh, it'll be much easier to do those things with these uh, new view keys. Oh yeah, it's gonna like I said, big adopt, big adoption make it so so much easier to accept payments, which is so good. And then like I said, I want to iterate. No other wallet has this ability yet. So as far as I know, this is cutting edge Monero technology, and it's really beautiful to see. Awesome, man! Thank you so much. Apologies yeah. for the uh, 